And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 side quests and we're going to do this one next. And then we'll probably do this. Uh, and then we'll go over to our map here. And we'll grab all these little lockers. And anything that's not a paraglider challenge or a parkour challenge will do. Like this little quest here. And these ones over here. We have to come over here anyways, but you get the general idea. Then we'll go ahead and do those real quick, so. Anyways. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you support button. Let's get into playing some Dying Light 2. Ooh, there's a lot of things we gotta do here. Any news on Mike? Nothing. No clues either. You know where he disappeared? Maybe I could take a look. As a matter of fact, I do. I could use a pair of fresh eyes on this. And I trust you. Let me mark the area on your map. I'll let you know if I find anything. I was so close to death. 
Stab wounds? Uh, Infecta didn't do that. Looks like you were ambushed and left for dead, Mike. Worse, left in the dark so you'd turn. Just killing you wasn't enough for these bastards. I should take these to Driscoll.
You back? You find anything? Letters. Took them off and infected in a carrier's uniform. Fuck, Mike. I mean, it's dangerous out there. But fuck! It's worse than that. The infected didn't kill him. He was stabbed and left to turn. Intentionally. So he was attacked. Well, that happens. As respected as we are. We're targeted for robbery because of the information we carry. People are always trying to disrupt the network. It wasn't a robbery. Since his deliveries were still on him, he must have been targeted. Mike didn't have any enemies. Well, based on all the disappearances lately, it's probably not Mike who has enemies. You mean someone's targeting the guild itself? No one would have the nerve. But what if they did? What then? If the guild were brought down, so would the network. There'd be chaos. Then we'd all better watch each other's backs. Hey, Professor. Got any new deliveries for me? Sure do. Here they are. And what about any history lessons? Maybe another time. The way things are going around here... I need to focus on the here and now. Ah, well, I totally get that. Okay, later.
Bane. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Talking to myself, that's all. I, mean, I can see something's the matter, but okay. It's just, there's nothing that can be done. There are too many of them. Too many who? Renegades. Degenerates. Six months ago, they kidnapped my son, Rook, and they forced me to produce drugs for them. I was the chemistry teacher in school before the epidemic. I held one of them back, Grade. But what about your son? They're holding him hostage. If I'm late with the next batch of drugs, they'll kill him. Maybe what these bandits need is a lesson. But there's a whole band of them. I've faced far worse odds than that. I'm not a fan of kidnapping. Will you help me? Yeah, I'll try. Where are they keeping Rook? In the military building, overlooking the canal south of Muddy Grounds, near Culvert Island. The entrance is on St. Paul Boulevard, past the red car carrier. Just be careful. I went there myself once, trying to free my boy. They caught me. Then later brought me one of Rook's fingers. As long as these bastards are alive, they'll never leave us alone. I'll be careful. I'll follow you. Wait outside for you to come out. What's your name? Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. I haven't slept a wink for six months. What are they doing with my son up there? I'm so worried about him. My grandfather used to work as a miner in the quarry south of the old town. Those tunnels are teeming with infected now. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Up, you hear? Holy shit!
thought I was dead for sure. And that's what counts. Doesn't the sound of the shovel seem too loud to you sometimes? <laughs> Hey, uh, everything okay? What's it to you, huh? Ain't none of your business. Ollie, cool your jets. Don't you know who this is? It's that Pilgrim guy, Aiden. 
Well, since you asked, one of her own, Kareen, is undercover at the nearby Renegade camp. A spy? Right. Volunteered to walk into the lion's den. Been given regular reports, and then... nothing. Not a peep for days now. It ain't like her. They caught her for sure. Yeah, thanks for the expert analysis, Mr. Doom and Gloom. Someone needs to get in there and find her. Why don't you go in after her? No can do. Those renegades would sniff us out in a second, and we'd be toast. Yeah, those are fucking renegades, man. Just because I'm a guy doesn't mean they wouldn't rape me or something. Yeah, I see your problem. Jeez, Ollie, you got serious problems. I'll go check in on her. Oh, man. Th that, that'd really help us out. Look, I got these papers that'll get you into the camp. Better him than me. See what I got to put up with? Just give me the papers. I'll be honest with you. I did a quick job forging these. Anyone taking a third look could figure it out. Which means you gotta work fast once you're in. You okay with that? I'm good. Awesome. Now, check it. The Renegade's camp is tucked between the office towers. Okay. How am I supposed to recognize her? Well, ain't a lot of women in these places. But she's gotta know you're on our side. Use the code word phrase, have you milked the goats? And she'll respond, goat milk is too sour for my tastes. And you'll know it's Kareen. Goat milk is too... what? What kind of code phrase is that? Pretty awesome, right? I came up with that, man. That was all me. 100%. Okay, whatever.
Jack Matt deals with these damn renegades. <laughs> my name ending up in some memorial. Down in the streets. Package for you. Ferris, come quick! The storks arrived! The storks arrived! That's not a stork, honey. That's the carrier. Nonsense! I know a stork when I see one. And it's brought our beautiful baby. Our gorgeous son. <laughs> huh? That's right, honey. He's beautiful. Look, he's yawning. I bet he's tired from his journey. You should put him to bed. Oh. But I want to rock him and hug him and squeeze him and, oh, look, Ferris, look at those little apple cheeks. I could just eat him up. <laughs> That's right, Mummy could just eat up her little boy. Nom, 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 nom. Sweetheart? Oh. But you're right. I'll put him to bed. Still there, buddy? Just tell me I didn't just deliver a baby. No. Don't worry, it's just a doll. Oh, Ferris! His eyes! He has your eyes! I told you he would, honey. What's going on? Look, buddy, my wife recently lost our real son in childbirth. She hasn't been the same since. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. But for her, it hasn't quite sunk in yet, so... Someone recommended getting a doll for her to care for. That seems crazy, but we hope it might help her heal. Your son just pooped, Ferris! He even has the cutest poops! How sweet. Look, we just need some privacy, so uh, please keep this under your hat. Here's a little extra. I, I can't take this. Anyway, it'd be a violation of my carrier's oath if I said anything. I know, but look, she needs a doll to feel better, and I need this, so 
Just take it. Understood. Thank you. So you're Driscoll's new golden boy. And you are? Someone who's had his eye on you. I get that a lot. Smart ass. You're not much to look at. Now let me guess. You're Derek. And the flesh, loser. Carriers used to be heroes. That insignia used to mean something. Well, it sounds to me like your behavior wasn't all that heroic when you were a carrier. Fine. I made some mistakes, but I believed in what we did. Not like you, fucking pilgrim. I know what you're after. You're just trying to get some information and then bail. Maybe that's how it started, but that's not how it is now. Bullshit! I'm gonna show them what being a real carrier is all about. Teach everyone a lesson. And you? You're cocky. You'll slip up. And I'll be there when you do, pilgrim. My name is Manfred. You don't even know how lucky it is that you've come along, Pilgrim. Let's find out. I have made contact with one of China's satellites, which are still in orbit. Ha! Huh. Yes, yes. I know that look. You're excited too. Wow! How did you do that? I constructed a device that boosts the range of the radio tower's receiver so that it can receive signals beamed from the satellites. I was able to send a message and someone answered me. I mean, the reply was garbled and I didn't understand anything, of course, but do you realize what this means? There are others with electricity, technology. They can help us or we can help them. Only I was preparing a response to the last message when I was attacked by infected. Head down south on Lower Dam Promenade. You'll see there are two buildings connected by an overhead walkway. You need to clear the roof of the one on the south. There's a radio tower on it. Please, I've been working on this for years. I got you. Just let me think about it. Thank you. As soon as you get rid of them, radio me and I'll come join you.
package for you. Thank you. Holy. I can't believe he got it. What's that? My fiance's ring. It was lost. Lost? I lost her. She was wearing it when the power went out. By the time it was back on, she turned and fled into the night. That's terrible. It was on her shambling corpse. Knowing that thing was wearing it, the ring I gave her tore me up. It was an obscenity. But I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't face her. Not like that. So who got a hold of the ring? Dinesh. He promised he'd track her down and get it for me. He came through. Dinesh would have been my best man. He's my best friend. That well, sounds like it. Hopefully you can start to put this past... Oh, no. No, no. No, no. What? There's a note in here. It's from Dinesh's sister. She says... She says... D Dinesh was out too long. He was already turning when he came back. They had to kill him. But they found the ring clutched in his hand. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. Well, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you support button. Try to keep the videos to 30 minutes if I can, but sometimes this may happen. Anyways, let's. I'll see you guys next time.